Hello and welcome. Stevan here with another All American Print Supply webinar. As you may have read from the title description, today we're going to be going over some of the printing basics and key advanced features of the Neo Rip by Cathari software. Before we get started, I would like to remind you about our brand new loyalty rewards program. Where right now, if you head over to the new website, which is aaprintsupplyco.com, you can register an account, log in, and make your purchases normal, and you begin to accrue points back on every dollar spent. It's our way of saying thank you for supporting the business and building a lasting relationship between the company and yourself. Once again, that website is going to be aaprintsupplyco.com. Make sure you're registered and logged in when you make any of your orders. I also want to mention the YouTube channel. If you're watching this online, be sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button and tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. We've got product spotlights, tutorials, walkthroughs, and with trade show season coming back, we're going to be having a lot of fun content. So make sure you, like I said, hit the subscribe button and tap the post notification bell. And if you do enjoy any of our awesome videos, hit some thumbs up. We love that. As I mentioned, today we're going to be going over the Cathari by NeoRip software. This is, in short, higher quality prints. For complex artworks, things such as gradients, glows, transitions, fades, this is really going to be the best way to communicate that artwork we designed to our direct-to-garment printer. While some standard complementary rips can get the job done and be very user friendly, something like the Neo Rip by Cathari is really the best way to unlock the true potential of what these machines are capable of. We have an entire playlist on tutorials for this software, including environments, installing, troubleshooting, and more. So as I mentioned, today we're going to be highlighting some of the key points and going over some of the advanced features. So, for things such as white ink savings, this is going to really optimize the amount of underbase used to save us money. If we're printing onto a black t-shirt, we're going to be using a different amount of white than we would to say for the same image going onto a red t-shirt. With the Cathari New Europe software, we're able to communicate what color fabric we're printing onto and use the appropriate ink levels so that we, like I said, can save time and money. Additionally, we can look at an uh, advanced cost calculator so we can see exactly how much we're spending per print, where our profit margin is, and exactly where every dollar is going. It's good data to have and uh, something that we're proud to offer with the Neo Rip by Cathari. Uh, additionally, we're also going to have available add-ons such as our barcode automation. I refer you over to our YouTube channel where we do have a complete walkthrough showing the full setup. But essentially, the barcode automation is going to allow you to consolidate all your orders from your different selling platforms, such as Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, eBay, and more. Consolidate them into one pulling list where you can prepare the garments that are to be printed. And then once you have your garments, apply the sticker label to the shirt. And then once it goes to the printing station, the operator does not need to fumble with arranging artwork, setting quality settings, sizing graphics. With a simple scan of the barcode, all that information will be sent directly to the direct to garment printer. Well, all the operator will need to do is load the garment, hit print, and you're ready to move on. As I mentioned, we have a full walkthrough on the YouTube channel on our barcode automation. And again, this is going to be a great add-on no matter what size print shop you are to increase your productivity and save you time and money. With the Nero by Cathari software, we can also enjoy faster productivity by increased data transmission by almost simultaneous ripping and printing. For larger files, if you are designing in programs such as Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, or Corel Draw, I would highly recommend the use of an Ethernet cord to really be as quick as possible when sending those larger print files. Today we're going to be going over some of the different quality settings in the software, and I'm also working with the Epson F2100. For those of you using the Epson F2100, you may already be familiar with the Garment Creator RIP software, which gets the job done. It's very user friendly, virtually no learning curve, and very simple to navigate and send jobs. In the Cathari Neo RIP software, we're going to have three available quality settings to choose from. It's going to range from Ultra Production, which is going to be the fastest and lay down the least amount of ink, Production, which will likely be good and standard for most medium weight garments, and then Ultra High Res. This I would really only reserve for thicker items such as sweatshirts, hoodies, crewnecks, as it's going to lay down two base layers of white and then the CMYK coloring on top. In addition to our three quality setting options, Cathari Neorup operators will also have further options to really dial in and customize exactly how they want their prints to come out. One of the key features is going to be the color boost. In the software, on the fourth tab is going to be the print adjustment options. Here you can toggle between highlight white, underbase, choke, and more. 
What you can also increase is going to be our color vibrancy and accuracy, and this is going to be in the color boost option. If you are adjusting your color boost, I do advise moving in increments of 20, and this is a vent tool so we do not oversaturate the image. If we adjust in increments of 20, you're going to be able to see fine tune adjustments and really dial in what we're looking to achieve. I use this particularly if I do not have time to pre-treat a white t-shirt where I can still increase my vibrancy and have a little more of a boost of color. And once again, that's going to be the color boost option under the print adjustment menu on top. Another great feature of the NeoRip by Cathari is going to be the ability to create custom platen environment and layouts for the software. For example, if you're using the long sleeve platen, which is approximately 4 inches wide by 20 inches in length, we're basically playing a little bit of guesswork with traditional or official rips that come with the printer. Here, I'm able to adjust the margins. Well, let me show you. Now, for starting, I am loading in the large platen option so that the software knows that I have 20 inches in length. But if I want to see how much available print space I really have, it's quite simple. After I've brought in my artwork here in the program, I'm going to go over here and select the printer settings options. And then we're going to go on to printer properties. And then here, what I'm going to be adjusting is the margins on the left and right hand side. As I mentioned, for example, since we're using the long sleeve platen, which is going to be 20 inches long by 4 inches wide, I need to reduce my left and right margins. Since the software believes that I have 16 inches wide of print space and I want to reduce that down to 4, that means I need to remove 12 inches of margin. I want to do this evenly. So I'm going to take the 12 inches that I need to reduce, break that in half. Right here, I'm adjusting my left margin to 6 inches. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Make that six. And then we're going to hit OK. Additionally, if I wish to save this for future use, or if this is an option that I'm going to be using primarily, I can save this as a custom layout, or even make this my default, so that when I fire up the printer next time, the Epson and the software already know which way to go. Now that I've adjusted my margins evenly on both sides, and I hit OK, the computer is now showing me a real-time visualization of where my prints are able to be located. So I'm going to go ahead with my artwork selected. Now we're going to go ahead and click top center. Now I can see a portion of my design because the file is quite large. And this is what I would advise for best quality. I'd rather we bring in these larger images that we need to shriek down so we can keep all of our detail, all of our resolution, and avoid things getting pixelated or blurry. Now when I adjust my dimensions to the size that's going to actually fit in my new custom platen. I can see right here that the image is perfectly centered, ready to be printed onto that long seat platen. And as I mentioned, we can save this for future use or default it if this is a platen size that we'll be using primarily. Another key feature we'd like to highlight in the NeoRip Cathari software is going to be the microweave option. We talked about how the program is best equipped to handle complex artworks such as gradients, transitions, glows, flames, fades, things of that nature. But what about when we have larger surface areas of a single color? This is where I feel we can really see any kind of flaws or issues in our pre-treating step or maybe in the pre-pressing where fibers can be poking out. So for something like that, I would recommend at that time to increase the amount of passes in the microweave. So on the print tab option in the Cathari software, all we would do is go over and select which layer that we're going to be increasing the amount of passes. And when I refer to passes, we're talking about how many times the print head is going to be moving left to right and spraying down the drops of ink. So over here, for example, with the print tab selected, I'm going to go ahead and select my color and highlight layer, and I'm showing a resolution of 1440 by 720. This is again, we're operating on the production option, quality setting level for the software, which I would advise for any sort of medium weight t-shirt, garment, things of that nature. So over here, my microweave is set to eight pass. But if I were working with a single section of a lot of just, you know, large area, I can increase to 10 or 16 passes. Again, this is going to give us a solid or a more sturdy foundation of that single color. And this would probably be more ideal for logos, uh, graphics, things for companies or sports teams. Again, to get a nice, even quality color layer on top of our underbase. And that's going to be, like I said, right here in the third, third tab on the software for print options. I hope that you've enjoyed this highlighted version of my recent webinar showcasing some of the key features of the NeoRip by Cathari software. Uh, before we say goodbye, I did want to show you just really quick one comparison example of two prints, one from the Garment Creator RIP and then one from the Cathari software from, uh, that we offer. Now here, 
This is gonna be the Garment Creator t-shirt. Now, this is still a fine print. I mean, the Epson F2100 is the number one selling direct to garment printer for a reason. But as we see the glow transition around the character here, it's not very gradual. It's kind of almost a hard line. And a couple areas I see with the underbase, I can t understand that it's not utilized to the best level. So if we take a look by comparison to the Cathari version, and again, this was printed on a level three in Garment Creator, and this was printed on the equivalent production setting, which is sort of in the middle ground on the NeoRip. But as we can see here, there's no underbase poking out because we mentioned the increased white ink savings of the Cathari. This is meant by optimizing the amount of ink. And by that I mean, I probably don't need as much white underbase for this glow transition portion of the graphic as I do with some of the other areas here. And that's all thanks to the Cathari NeoRip software, the way we utilize this. Additionally, some of the details here, I see are you know, a little more perfect as far as translating from the file image. But just wanted to show some of the quality difference and savings we can enjoy with the NeoRip by Cathari software. We are offering risk-free demo trial versions of the program that you can try for, I believe it's between 14 to 20 days. So leave your uh, email in the comments. We can reach out and get you set up or answer any questions that you may have. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, tap that post notification bell and hit the red subscribe button so you always never miss out on any of our awesome print related content. Uh, again, I hope you've enjoyed this highlighted version of the webinar. If you'd like to see the full version or sign up for future broadcasts where we have little interaction, back and forth, live audience members asking and getting questions answered, be sure to head over to the new website, which is aaprintsupplyco.com. And while you're there, make sure you register your account, log in, and make any of your purchases as normal, and you'll begin to accrue points back on every dollar spent. It's all part of our brand new loyalty rewards program to give back and create a lasting relationship between client and company. My name is Estevan, we're All American Print Supply. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you on the next one.